Hello, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony here with another Bionicle mock that I've created. This is supposed to be an ultimate upgraded boxer. Now, a while back, I did make a boxer, an upgraded boxer, and I really didn't like the way that it looked. So, I took it apart. And then, well, I decided to try again with making an upgraded version. And this is what I came up with. And I think I am very happy with the way that this came out. Now, here's the thing. I actually started out with just the Matoran right here. Now, I'm going to take the Matoran out of here right now. Um, and show you him. Okay, so, um... Now, this Matoran right here is supposed to be, well, a rebuilt version of the prototype Matoran for the Boxer. You know, the, uh, the version of the Boxer that LEGO made before they made the final version that was released as a set. In the prototype, the Matoran had a red body, gray legs, and an orange Ruru. And the Boxer featured a red Borok shield instead of a black one like the final version had. In the final version, the Matoran instead had a black body and an orange Bakari. And he was given the name Nuperu. So this is basically the prototype of Nuperu. Though in story, I would probably say that this is a Tomatoran who was inspired by Nuperu. Though Nuperu is now a Toa. And he decided to create a bigger and better version of the Boxer, considering how well they worked out during the Borok invasion, with two of them being thrown into the water. So he just built an entirely new one right here. Now, of course, as shown in the uh, Chronicler Online uh, game, you know, where you play as Holly, the new Chronicler, and... She goes around the island of Matanui. Um, you may or may not remember that even though the Matoran were upgraded to, um, well, upgraded to this form by the by that time, the boxers actually were still in existence. And believe it or not, you could actually fit an upgraded Matoran into the original boxer. And they actually fat pretty well in them. So, yeah, sure they are a little big now, but they do still fit in there. And I just made a much bigger one right here. So, I'm gonna put the Matoran back in because, well, the boxer, the upgraded boxer just kind of seems a bit, um, bit hollow without its pilot right here. The, yeah, the legs are kind of uh, wobbly right there, but something that I like to do is just do that. Just hold them in and then put them down on the ground and they adjust themselves. I wanted to add as much detail as I could. Now, while I did need parts from Bricklink to complete the Matoran, such as the lower leg pieces, an arm, and the hands. All the pieces that I used to build the upgraded boxer were all pieces that I already had in my parts drawers. So I didn't need to purchase any parts at all. Well, basically, I just decided to create something from the parts that I had rather than purchasing parts that I needed to get off of Bricklink in order to make. Now, of course, some of these parts did come from Bricklink, but none of them were bought for this exact purpose. I didn't buy any pieces just to make this, uh, mock. I just built it using the parts that I had without purchasing anything that I got from Bricklink, at least specifically for this, just parts that I already had, including ones that I got from Bricklink before. So... Anyway, I, I was struggling for quite some time to try to figure out a good use for this HAL. Now this is the original, well not the original, the Bionicle Stars version of Tahu's Mask. The original Red HAL. 
and I was trying to come up with a use for that mask after I had combined the Bionicle Star sets into the combiner. And then, well, with that, I then made upgraded versions of the Bionicle Star sets themselves, so I didn't need to do Gresham Scroll because they were already in existence. But, you know, Tahu's mask was left over after doing the upgraded version of Tahu. Though, of course, now we have Generation 2, so I have the Generation 2 Tahu for that. So, well, so there. So, just put that in front. I could probably say it could either, um, could maybe actually honor either Tahu, um, since he fought during the final battle in the original story, or maybe it was to honor Jala, who had died during the events of Mask of Light. Now, I don't know at what point in time that this boxer was actually made, though if it was made sometime during the Mask of Light saga, then the how would probably represent Jala. But if it represents Tahu, then it was built after the Bionicle Stars story. Though I really do not know what, why he would need this for anything, considering that Peace should now be on Spherus Magna. But it was just a fun thing to make. So I just did the legs, did, used all sorts of different pieces, the ones that I had, used all sorts of pieces from the Hero Factory series. Like uh, the feet, the original... Well, not the original. The modern feet are put on the sides right here. And I also put a black mask. This is the original HAL mask in black. Just put that on the back so I could use it for something. And because it looks cool. And, well, just adding on all sorts of different features to this. Like, I have this gear. These gears right here where the arms move. About, like, like doing that. Oh, there it goes again. Like, like doing that. Isn't that cool? It certainly is. And also, I use ah, I use the bow rock head. Like you can just push it down right here. And move it forward just like you could with the original bow rock. Did I say boxer before? If I did, that was a mistake. So please don't correct me on that because, hey, I may already know that I made the mistake. Now, I also wanted to use as much of the old gray pieces that I had as possible. So I had to try to be really careful to get the old gray pieces, though a lot of them were kind of hard to come by especially with pieces of certain colors being limited, such as having only three of one lift arm piece in one color, or having just one lift arm piece in a color altogether. So I kind of had to trade some things out to uh, get it to, well, to get something out of the parts that I exactly had right here. Now, there is no Krana inside the, uh, head of the Bow Rock itself, but... But it, if you wanted to, you could put a Krana in there and have it launch out, though by now, the Krana pretty much are out of commission. They're just not gonna be used anymore. At all. So... So pretty much, it's just gonna be good for, uh, moving forward like that. So, that's, that seems to be about it. That is the upgraded version of the Boxer. I have not come up with an actual name for the Matoran. If you want to suggest a name, feel free to. And, well, thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.